In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take out contact lenses. Plus, I'll even show you how to take out the contact lens that gets stuck in the eye. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome, I am Dr. Joseph Allen here from Dr. Eye Health, the channel that helps you learn about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. So if you're new here to the channel, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. So knowing how to take off a contact lens is a really important skill to have for anybody who's wearing contact lenses. Basically because if you have a contact lens on the eye and something seems to be going wrong, like maybe an infection, you wanna take that thing out right away. But honestly, sometimes taking your contacts out can be a challenge, even for a veteran like myself, and I've been wearing contact lenses since I was 13 years old. Sometimes it seems like those lenses just seem to slip away. And even sometimes the lenses do get stuck underneath the eyelid. But rest assured, the lens cannot go behind the eye. Physiologically, it's impossible. Now the first thing, whenever you're gonna touch or handle contact lenses, make sure you wash your hands. I know you're taking the lenses out, but still you wanna wash your hands, get any sort of bacteria or debris off of your hands because you are gonna be touching the contact lenses on your eye. And if you miss once or twice, that could end up getting in the eye. And yeah, you just don't want that. Once you're done washing your hands, you need to dry your hands and dry them very well. This is going to be key. You want your hands to be bone dry, not a little bit slippery. If it's bone dry, you'll actually be able to grip the contact lens. Otherwise, it's just gonna slide around and you won't really have much of a chance. Now, the next big step is being able to control your eyelids. I personally like to use my non-dominant hand to hold the upper eyelid with my middle finger. And then I actually use the middle finger of my dominant hand to hold the lower eyelid. That allows me to really grip and hold things open so that I don't just instinctively kind of react and close my eye. That also leaves my pointer finger and my thumb free so I can actually grip the lens. You actually wanna hold the pads of your fingers together and make kind of like this little kissing tweezer motion. That's actually the part of your fingers that you're going to touch the contact lenses with. And then just because your fingers are so dry, when you make that little kissing tweezer motion, you'll actually grab onto the lens and you can easily lift it off the eye. Now, when I prepare to take out my contact lenses, you can do it looking straight ahead into something like a mirror. I personally look upward just a little bit just because when you're gripping the contact lens you can go straight on if you want but I prefer to grab the lower one-third or one half of the lens because it just tends to kind of flute and grab on a little bit better one more time you hold the upper eyelid hold the lower eyelid I look slightly up and then you go ahead and just pinch and the lens comes right off. Yeah, I know I made that look easy. Otherwise, let me show you this method one more time, and then I'm gonna actually show you another method of how to remove these contacts. But first, I gotta put this lens back in. All right, there we go. Contact lens back in eye. Again, I wanna show you this. I'm gonna hold my upper eyelid, then I'm gonna hold the lower eyelid, use my little kissing fingers here, touching the lower one-third, gripping, and removing. I'm just gonna put this back in. All right. Now the next method some people prefer mainly because they don't like actually seeing anything come toward their eye. So the method is actually taking the contact lens and dragging it over to the white part of the eye, onto the sclera. And then they actually still use the same little pinching motion to grab the contact lens and lift it off. So I'm gonna try and do this. It's not the method that I prefer, but again, basically you kind of look away from your fingers. You drag the lens. I got it out, but it fell. And that's okay, if your lens does fall out, you're just gonna have to rinse it and clean it. Now every once in a while, even a contact lens veteran will have this issue where the contact lens could perhaps slide and get stuck underneath your upper eyelid. And no, it does not feel very good. You probably know exactly what I'm talking about. But usually when this happens, the best way to do it is honestly just to look straight down and keep blinking your eye. Keep blinking, keep blinking. Oftentimes that process, the lid will grab the lens and slide it down back toward the front of your eye. Sometimes the lens will find itself right in the position, right on your cornea where it needs to be. Sometimes the lens will fold on itself and it'll just fall out of the eye. Another method though is that if you're really having a hard time, just look down, you can sometimes kind of feel it, and then you just have to kind of push on your eyelid with your finger and kind of encourage the lens to kind of move itself down. Another method is to look in the mirror, try to see if you can figure out where it's at, or if maybe one of your friends can actually take a look at it and if they can point out where it's actually stuck. 
That way you know exactly where to touch on the eyelid and kind of encourage it downward. I don't recommend using a Q-tip or anything else to try and fishing it out of the eye. That's something that is best left for a professional to do because you could end up scratching your eye. If you do get your lens stuck in the eye and you cannot get it out, then make sure you contact your local eye care professional because we can actually see you. We can have you in the exam room. I can actually put uh, some type of yellow dye on the eye that we call fluorescein sodium. This yellow dye actually gets absorbed into the contact lens and makes it highlight bright yellow under a blue filter. And that way we can tell exactly where that contact lens is. We can see if you have any sort of scratches or, or any sort of abrasion on the surface of the eye and then we can treat it accordingly. Now a couple of safety tips for contact lenses is that these lenses are actually a medical device. And anytime you feel like your eyes are red, scratchy, that you're painful or that your vision starts to get blurry, please take them out. And if your vision or your eyes not getting better, call your eye doctor right away. Please remember you only get two eyes, so please take care of them. Hopefully you found this video helpful and you're able to get your contact lenses out on your own. If you continue to have any difficulties removing contact lenses, it is best not to sleep in them unless they are designed for sleeping in. Otherwise, contact your local eye care professional so they can help you remove it. I have a question of the day. Which was your favorite part about this video? Did you find it helpful? And do you have any extra pro tips about removing contact lenses yourself? Go ahead and comment in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you're somebody who's not wearing daily one-time use lenses and you've just thrown it away, then you probably need to clean your contact lens. So I have another video showing you how to clean contact lenses and how to clean the contact lens case. And if you'd like to see that, go ahead and click or tap the screen up here to the side. Or if you'd like to see another cool video from Dr. Eye Health, go ahead and click or tap the screen down over here. Again, this is Dr. Joseph Allen here from Dr. Eye Health. The channel helps you learn about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. Keep an eye on it. We'll talk to you soon.